Hello. Thank you so much for stopping by and sitting a moment for me to chat with you. I really appreciate you coming by. I'm going to add links to my Facebook and Twitter in the comment section uh, below this video. So if you'd please share it, I'd appreciate it so I can reach as many people as possible. Um, something that's been weighing on my mind here lately is how we as a human species seem to have problems with being alone, being by ourselves, not depending on other people, being independent. And I understand this feeling because recently, after about 15 years, I have become completely alone. I got a divorce and I live alone with no pets or anything and I had a husband and nine cats for like 15 years so it made me very nervous at first and I continue with the old habit of being gone all the time like I did when I was married because I was unhappy and I didn't feel validated or useful so I always stayed gone I never stayed home and now that I'm alone I'm like nervous there's so much that needs to be done. The house is destroyed from the ex and the animals. And I'm overwhelmed with it. And because uh, I before I met him, I was living alone and I was fine. I was independent. I had my career and I didn't have a problem with being alone. But now that I'm alone and there's nothing going on in my life and uh, nobody really needs me at this point. There's really nothing for me to do. Except be by myself. And uh, strange, it's really strange how the universe forces on you what you need to do for your overall well-being. And sometimes it's sad that it takes a tragedy or something very dramatic to get our attention. But it seems in my surroundings lately, I'm being forced to be alone whether I want to or not. And it's because I need it. It's something I need to know and live by myself, to understand myself, to appreciate myself, to grow into the person I meant to be because I was stunted serving others for so long, I never took care of me. I never did and thought and felt how I wanted to be. And now I'll go seven days without saying a word at all to anyone. I won't and I'll just be completely silent. And I thought the other day in my mind, because nobody's here, so I'm not talking to anybody but you, is I haven't said a word in like four or five days. I haven't uttered one word. I'll text sometimes. Some people text me, but I haven't spoken to anyone. And I'm okay with that. Could you be okay with that? How long can you go to be completely by yourself without saying a word completely alone? I know, right? Some people go, oh, no. Or some people are like, oh, I wish. And you think, and I used to think that I wish I could just be alone and be totally quiet. That oh, would be so awesome. But when you get that chance, you're like, oh, what do I do? Oh, my God, where is everybody at? There's somebody to talk to. I'm going crazy. But it's, it's wonderful. It's very healing. And it's something I think every human being needs to do. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm still fighting with my allergies and sinuses really bad, but it's a healing. It's, I, I don't care that this place is a piece of crap, if you want to call it that. It's okay. It's a roof. I'm thankful for that. I really am. I'm not complaining about my surroundings, but it used to make me very uncomfortable that the condition it's in, and I can't really help it at this point. Um, so I'm making peace with that. I'm making peace that I'm alone and I don't have to talk to anybody and there's nothing for me to do but just be me and just be still and be quiet. And before, I that was, I even at work, I couldn't be still and be quiet. I had to be doing six or seven things at a time or I would just explode. And now I'm like, I'm cool. I can just watch TV, take a nap, crochet, whatever. Talk to you guys, make a video, be on Facebook all day long, <laughs> whatever, you know, and it's something I think every human needs to experience. We need, to, and I'm asking you for your health, spend at least one hour alone by yourself without speaking, at least one hour, go to the park, go on the roof of your building. If you're in the big city that has buildings and it's just all concrete, Go for a walk around the neighborhood for an hour. Um, 
don't text. Leave your phone off. Stay. Keep it with you in case you need an emergency, of course, but turn it off or turn it down completely. Don't, don't mess with your phone at all. But go and be by yourself for one hour and just be in your own company. I think it's something we all really need to learn how to do to have at least an hour. Try it once a week to just be you and be by yourself and start to appreciate your own company because you have to live in this vessel and you depend on this vessel's energy, emotion, love, nurturing, healing to get you through this lesson in life. And if you can't stand to even be alone with yourself, it's like, it's the only vehicle you've got for this lifetime. You've got to, we've got to learn how to love it and enjoy it and be at peace with it. I've got lots of insecurities still and I've still got, you know, but I can sit down and just be still and be me. And I'm just waiting for whatever's going to happen to happen. And this is huge for me. And a lot of people I know, the thought of it is terrifying. But why? Why do you feel like you can't be alone? Hmm. Thought provoking. Give it a try. And until then, know that I'm thinking of you. I love you. Please share my channel. Go to Ask Jean on Facebook for groups. Ask Jean. And go to Yin Moon One on YouTube or Jean's Pet Rock on Twitter. And let's have a conversation. Tell me what you want to talk about. Thank you so much. And I love you all. And I'm thinking of you. Goodbye.